Welcome to Frico Plays God Mode, Total War Rome 2, Epirus Faction, this is episode 33, the Europe Campaign, part 15, Battle of Ebora. In this episode, Frico looks to finish off choice in Europe once and for all. Europe's last stand is Zebora, but their fall will be our share. Glory. You can see what we're going to be looking at here as we have roughly 2,700 folks versus our 3,000. And we're going to go and look at the Battle of Vibora as we receive the report that I have issued to myself because I myself led this battle. It was that important to my progeny. And it was so important that my progeny is actually in the battle as well, Alexander. As we prepare ourselves for what could be and should be the last voice of choice in Europe. As the Battle of Ebora sets to shut the door on this stupid liberty crap in Europe. Why you come up? By my command. But let's... Let's, let's pause and take a, a consideration of our circumstances here. This is, uh, once again, a rather large structure or a la ra rather large settlement for us to deal with. Certainly, I tell you, in time, this settlement could turn into quite a mighty city if we were to just... And, and great, it'll be one day, it could be if it's flying our flag. This could be quite an impressive arrangement right up here alone. It's beautiful. Definitely get rid of the farm and stuff up here. Make something really big that says Freak was awesome. Something like that. But, I mean, this is naturally just a wonderful place to set up shop. And hope to defend yourselves from the onslaught of the Fricosians. And here we are. Out here. And we have a similar setup to what we had in the last battle. And... We have another situation in which we have our reserves are far off in the distance, far, far behind me on the other side of the lake. And so once again, we're in a circumstance where we're looking to do as much artillery softening up as we can before we actually have to, well, before our troops actually show up. And that's, that's the fundamental problem is that when our troops show up, it's going to be a little late, so... Let's, uh, where's my general at? There's my general. All right, let's hear what the general has to say as we also look at the artillery and as it prepares its onslaught. All right, oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. All right, here we go. Ares and Artemis have been kind today. This will Happen. be a hunt rather than a battle. But though we are braver than our foes, remember that a cornered rat can still bite. Now, await your orders. Taking out the towers first, I'm assuming. All right. So that was good, though. This is a hunt. That's what this is. This ain't a, this ain't a battle. This is a hunt. It's just a sport. That tower doesn't look like it's long for the world. Oh, survived. Oh, a lot of these guys got killed, though. Wow, look at how many of them got wiped out. That's impressive. That's where the real power comes in. Ah! Beautiful. Now we gotta go to the next tower, I'm assuming. Right? Are we gonna do that? Same old approach, I hope. It's a sound approach. Systematic, and plus, especially when you're just kind of Killing time while you wait for your real guys to come up and launch the assaults. Well, you're taking a long time to respond here, though. A little concerned about that. Takes you a while to recalibrate, it seems. Are you not firing for some reason? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, you didn't get him? I'm disappointed in you. Oh, you got some troopers, though. That's good. 
Let's see if this next volley gets them and some troopers. Whole bunch of troopers. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Got a number of them in the front there. Yep. Definitely uh, cut down on their numbers. Let's see how well this one does. Oh, didn't destroy the tower. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. This should do it. There goes the tower. There goes the tower. And uh, a few of those guys got killed. Let's see. How many of those guys got? Oh, yeah. A number of guys got killed. So good. Good job. Good job. And now we got this tower here. Just uh, hanging out. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Guys on fire. Guys on fire. You, yeah, you were hitting in the woods. You were getting on fire now. This is one advantage for the fire thing. It does kill a lot of guys on the ground. And it's really cool visually. So, Oh, there you go. So the tower's over. So what are we going to do? Are we ready to, to punch holes in walls? What are we going to do? Are, and we still got our troopers from behind still arriving. Take so aim! You see these guys and we'll leave another group behind we left another guys behind sorry so these guys are still arriving yeah we got guys arriving still but it looks like we got a target so what are we going to target All right. I think we're just trying to hit these guys as much as possible. Oh. Yeah, we're just trying to soften them up. Killing a bunch of these guys. Oh, a few guys fell. Oh, oh, man. Got a lot of guys with that one. Oh, there's a breach. There's a breach. Let's see what happens. Am I going to... Am I going to fill this breach? I mean, that is just devastating. Just... Just with that power alone. Oh, uh, here we go. Are we going to go in? No, we're just standing here. All right, let's go in with them. We're in the city now. We have entered. We have injected ourselves. And we're engaged. We are engaged. And we're getting we're getting air support. It's shaky. It's very shaky. Getting extra camera work gun in. Uh, good, good guy on the ground getting the camera work. Good job, buddy. My respect. I'm not gonna fault you for jingling right now because it's a jingly kind of day right now. Oh. Just doing a job. Doing a job. Oh, oh, that feels good to see when you know when they're hitting their guys and not ours. That would be bad if it was the other way. That would be stupid. That'd be horrible. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. You see that? You see that? Hey, 
More of our guys rushing in. Let's see what we got. Oh, now we're flooding in. Now we got the gates. We're flooding in now. Yep. We're all coming in now. Yeah. These are the reserves. They finally got here. And there's still more on the way. They're still coming up even as those guys. So basically the horse guys got in first. Yeah. Once again. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant strategy by myself. By, by my say so myself. And I do. Just rushing in. Just rushing in. I mean, they could not take on that. That was just a big swoosh rush. It's coming to an end, my friend. It's coming to an end. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. They're closing in on you, dude. Yep, they're closing in. Let them go forward. Yeah. Oh, man, you knocked him down? Oh, he's back up. Okay. How is he back up? So, I wish all my guys would do that. There's a horse. Oh, he's down. And he's back up. All righty. That's what I like to see. Kicked him in the face. Kicked him in the face. Yeah, they're getting backed up. I mean, they're up against it. They got nowhere on. That's it. That is it. And they broke. And we do not care. In this battle, we were not trying to kill as many people as we could. So this is it. This is the end. And there it is. Wow, there it is. So that is the... Uh, we're going to give you the visuals, don't worry. And then we're going to load her up with... Uh, yeah. So, let's give you your, your payoff because you deserve that. Let's give you your, your visual payoff. And then we're going to load into where we're in post-Europe. Because I figured out something that I really should have thought of. Like, when I do these battle things and I put my generals... I really get my generals, like, in the lather and... It, I need to... Well, anyway, I gotta save the game in a way that I'm getting credit for my generals for that lather that I put them in, in these battles. So, I... It took me a while. Well, I was tr learning a whole bunch of other things. I wasn't even thinking stuff like that. Still tons and tons of stuff to figure out with this Rome Total War game. And I'm truly loving it, by the way. Even though I'm recognizing the issues why it is that people are not satisfied with it and I love it for what I can use it for it's fun and I can do I, I'm, I'm having personal fun with it but there are definitely some things I wish they would change like the the voiceover things please give us a lot more variety and could could we I would really like to be able to choose what to do with men and women because because for reasons just for fun come on I'm not trying to be anything other than I want all my options and to have fun and do cool, fun, weird, awesome things. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these are these a few things that I would like. I would just, 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 just do this update for Rome Total War 2. You know, just get us a patch and that's it. Not, not anything. You don't, you don't need to. Okay, so what we're going to be looking for. We got, we got Frico hooked up. I've said enough about that. We're looking for, uh, Okay. So we're going to go over here, and we have, we're just going to get rid of you, because I, I just can't stand, this is, wipe them out, all of them. Now, if this is big, I might actually do this and have this be, no, no, never mind. Not even close. This could be the end of Carthage. Right to the throat, not even a question. We must... Exterminate Carthage. Wait, Carthage still exists. Alright. Where? Where is Carthage? Where is you? Ah! Well, 
thanks to our super duper new technology where our, our, our army is our navy and our navy is our army, we can handle this. We're going to go ahead and punch you. This should be hopefully the end of Carthage. Ah, uh, you couldn't go out with a with a band, huh? Just a whimper. And we're gonna have to exterminate. At once. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah, we're going in after you. Are you kidding me? Of course. Yeah, we can. All right. Listen, I understand Nova Karcha, but you don't understand. I'm, I'm, I'm not Stan. You don't want me to stay. I'm not Stan, all right? And there, Carthage is finally destroyed. And just, uh, not trying to do anything crap to you. Just, I mean, you know what? Just, just don't be an idiot. All right. Okay, so Frika is still highlighted. And let's just see what we got going on in the European world. Do we got anybody that is is messing with me in any way, shape, or form? What is this over here? That's oh, the, okay. I don't care. You're fine. I, I'm not gonna bother with you. And I think we're okay here. So the next thing that we're gonna have to do. Which we're not going to do in this episode. In the next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go through all of these guys, do all of our updates, see what we're going to do. And we're going to go through our our army, our, 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 our cities, and we got to make a bunch of... We got a bunch of stuff that we got to go through. So we'll be looking at that. And then after that, we have some family stuff to work on. We have... We got a lot of stuff. But then ultimately, I have to at least show you the groundwork for what we're going to be doing for... Kind of restructuring our military. We're going to have to create uh, some militia militaries because we need to have some... We've, we, we only have five armies right now. We can have 14, but we only have three. So we can only add three more militaries right now, but we're going to add them. We're going to put our our, our militaries in strategic po uh, defensive positions, including my military, which I'm going to have near the capital of Apollonia. I'm going to be stationed near Apollonia for a while. I need to, I need to bring the iron hand down because we've had some issues at home. I'm going to take care of that crap. So I might even garrison up there. And uh, we're going to have our troops sent out across the Empire in defensive form so we can deal with all these. If, if and when we have uprisings, we can we can deal with them uh, in, in quick order. So this is what we're going to be looking at for the foreseeable future. So... Just to give you a little sense, we're going to do this here, and I'll do it again when we change turns, but I'm going to go to Parthia. My master extends the most magnificent welcome really to you and us. your honorable people. What wisdom do you bring? Well, I'm going to give you a gift, and I'm going to give you tons and tons of money. There you go. As much as I can. There you go. Truly, uh, my good and noble friend, your kind words and learned thank you. have smoothed the path to learned agreement. Debate. Let's see, how much money do I have right now? All right. All right, just making sure I got tons of money because I, I got to go give out some money to some folks. Still not in contact with uh, Egyptus, so you lose. So it's going to be Parthia, and it's going to be, huh, who else? Huh, Libya? No. You know, it needs to be Egypt, but I don't have an Egypt, but I can remedy that situation. I can have... Hold on. Oh, wait. 
Alright, Electra, hold on. Alrighty then. Alright, so we're gonna get our girl over here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just get Electra over here so that this shows up so that we can we need to start giving Egypt money now. We need to give Egypt a buttload of money because we want to every turn that we go, we're going to give Egypt and Parthia the money because these are the two empires that we want to build up. We want them to get. I mean, I would love it optimally. It, don't, it won't happen, but I would love it optimally if maybe Egypt and Parthia both had like most of the East divided. And so when I came to decide to extend the empire at long last, Alrighty then. Hi. So now let's see. Now do we have contact with yes. Now we have contact I would with Egypt. Place my own in trays in canopic jars than listen, but speak your words anyway. Well, well right now they don't like us much, but that's okay. There you go. There you go. Pharaoh strength and wisdom to him would ask for more but i am content that we have agreement we have agreement man all right there you go there you go you and i we good and i want to make sure that i give them money so that they can buy and do stuff and advance and stuff because i want them to be powerful and you guys you just have fun and just leave us alone if you leave us alone we will leave you alone. So here we are, our vast and beautiful empire. With Rome included. And we have so much work to do in the next episode. So we'll see you in the next episode of uh, Frico Plays God Mode Total War Rome 2. And this is going to be the European Consolidation. That'll be the next episode.